Hello everybody, welcome to Sparkle's Robo Builds. Today we will be building the Tier 8 Cockroach. I built this on my stream at twitch.tv slash sparkles underscore 100. I'll leave that in the description. Um, so we will be building this. I built this for one of my viewers and I just loved it so much I decided to share it with you guys. This is my first video ever, so bear with me. I will have all the items down in the description, so when you look at it, you'll know what you need. So first off, you want to have um, you want to have this arch using prisms, right? And you want to connect them to these two. You're gonna have six going out, going back, and you're gonna want six going forward. So once you do that, take your prisms or your inners. My bad. And make a bucket. Four on this side, four on that side. All right. Now with that bucket, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take your electro plates, put two back here, and two back here. Now you're gonna want to take your movement, which will be your tier eights. These ones are your tier eights. Excuse me. Oh, my bad. So, you only do two on this part, alright? You don't want to put one right there and one right there. Now, to connect these, you're going to use your prisms, and you're going to go extend one right here, and extend one right there. See, it should look like this. We will remove those for here. It should look like this. Your two plates will go right here and right here, alright? Okay, so after you have done that, what you want to do is you want to extend this out two more so you can go like this. And then you're going to want to do the same on the other side. So right now you should have this. Okay, after you do this, you want to extend your frame out so it just passes the thruster. And you're going to want to do this around the whole bot. So after you do this, you want to take your prisms again, and you want to do the same thing. It's just going to, it's kind of like what you would do with your hovers. After you have those down, you can place back your shields, because we will not be working on the top anymore. Once you have that done, what you want to do is you want to take your movement and you want to go to your steering skis. You're going to be using four steering skis. Put them on the corners. After you have that done, you want to take your tier eights and you want to place them facing like this. And you want to do the same on the back. After you have that done, we're going to start working on our gun placements. So they should be looking like this. You go four up on here. But on the ends of here, you're going to want to you're going to want to flip this tetra so it faces. So instead of going like this, you turn one, turn two, turn three, and then you just add that little prism on this end. The reason why we do that is because the spacing of the guns needs it so we can fit all four. If you only have six tier eights, you don't have to do what I just did, but if you're using the T9s, you will have to do what I just did. Um, next on, or next part of it, is we're going to take our tier nines, we're going to turn them, and we're going to use them for that one back, so boom, one back. Then, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your four tier sixes, and you're going to want to place them like that so you have a little gap right there. After you have that gap completed, excuse that noise, um, you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a prism, and you see how it doesn't go to the sides. You're going to want to place it up, take an inner, go one, two. 
this adds for because when you go off of hills this bot tends to laterally float up so this is there to keep your bot on the ground it only flips up if you um if you hit a hill so if you don't want that there if you think it looks stupid um you can take it out and you can just try not to hit uh, flips it's the easiest way So then you're gonna want you're gonna wanna go one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna wanna go five out. So you're gonna start with the prism like this. You're just gonna go up one, two, three, four, five. This will actually set it to where your guns are offset. So then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your movement. You wanna go to tier two. And you're gonna wanna flip them backwards. So that will help out these tier 6s slow down these tier 9s. Um, once you have that finished, what you can do is you can put a rudder, tier 4. Don't face it down, face it up like this. There you go. You have the base bot. It does perfectly well in this condition. You can add plasma launchers. I haven't tested out the fittings on that one yet, so I will have to check on that. So you're going to want to place the tier 9s. If you're running tier 8s, you can place them back here. I will show the an example of that. So you can go. They all fit. You can even move this one down one. If you wanted to, you can go. And you can have your tier 8s. But, if you are using the tier 9s, you're going to want to take this, this, and then like this, this, and then that's just regular. You bring this out, and there you go. So then you take your tier 9s, place back here, in the middle, and up front. That is the base bot that we have built. Um, I like to add a cosmetic or two, so I'm going with the vapor trails. I'm going to put them like exhaust pipes. But here's the bot guys, here is the tier 8 cockroach build. It's a sled medic. I'll show you in practice mode how it handles and if you like it, build it. I'd love to see this out on the um, Battlefields. So as you can see, handles perfectly well. Turns really good. And then you, I'll show you what I mean by it. when it goes off of hills, it has a natural lift up. So you'll see the bot just turn sideways. Now what that front one is is that that's to keep it from going too high. And you can keep it just to stay on the ground. You know, you can hug the ground. You know. Anyway, that's been the TRA Cockroach. I hope you guys enjoy. See you next time.